Welcome back to Mr. Obsley's Vintage Homesteading. Today's exciting video is going to be Vintage Axe Review number three. Going to be using a Collins brush brushing axe. This weighs five and three quarter pounds. Overall length is 40 inches. Heading face is about 11 inches. These things are real effective for cutting down small diameter trees. And you'll have to sharpen it different than you do a regular axe. I've already sharpened it, but basically the same type of plies. I just take a marker pen, put about an eighth of an inch mark along the face and where it's straight I just use a regular straight edge file for doing here I use a chainsaw file that I've modified I actually use it for two different purposes but That way you can get the curve without having cut it badly with a straight edge and leave gouges and whatnot in it. I'll just talk briefly about why I have this modified like this. Since the equipment we use around here, a lot of them have two cycle engines in them. The thing is different from a four cycle is they don't have valves, they have ports. This is where the intake, the air and the mixture, fuel mixture goes in and the exhaust comes out. So when I have these bored out to rebuild them, there's a sharp edge on the inside of the port. And I can use this to round it out so the piston ring doesn't catch. It's very important to do on these little engines. gloves on here. And the reason I'm taking this out is that we're going to be burning this stump here. And so I don't want any extra fuel behind it here. I clean out the leaves and the brush and then eventually I'll pull the root out with the tractor. But um, I, the reason I like using these is I cut them up high and when I do that, when I want to pull out the stump, I can wrap the chain around them and stuff, and I'll put my car wheel, and then I can lift it and pull them out. So I'll show you how nice these cut here. Cut two of them. See the diameter of it there. This particular type of bush is really difficult to take out. If you try using a chainsaw, it pinches the bar, the wood springy. If you use nippers, it's really hard to cut too, so it really is hard on it, but this works fastest. So we'll come back and get this finished, but we're gonna come over and chop a couple of bigger trees here, so we'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're gonna take out these trees in here. This one a bit bigger, so we'll see how this one cuts. There again, you wanna hit it at your 45 degree angle. Like you got a branch behind you, get out of the way. Take it off like that. One good cut and we'll see a bit of bark off there. So you can see it's very efficient. That's a pretty good sized piece. 
Got another one over here. We'll be back in a second. Okay, we're going to take this tree out. See how many chops it takes. Three and one finished clean cut here. Cameraman got first hand view of the tree falling down. Okay, well, here's the piece for the first cut. You can see it's a nice big chunk. And it's weird, it even has root rot in it. Like I say, I leave these above the ground here so I can hook on a chain and pull them out with a tractor. So we're going to go over and look at our stumps and see how they're coming along and get ready to burn here. Okay, we're back. We're going to have some footage from this last spring using the same axe when we're out doing some work in the orchard. So we'll include that in the video. But I've been soaking this and with vegetable oil. And so we're going to be able to burn in about two and a half weeks again. Burn band will be off. And so it's been soaking in really good. So every couple of days I just come out and fill the holes I've drilled. So this will be an interesting experiment to see if this burns as good as oil does, just use motor oil or not. This might be cleaner. We'll see. Well, we'll be back for another exciting video and we'll see you soon. Remember, vintage is best, as always. Welcome back to Mr. Rob Sleet's Vintage Homesteading. Today's chore is going to be removing and thinning these old cherry trees that have gotten out of hand over the years. Some are dead and some are badly damaged. What we're going to be using is a vintage Collins brush cutting axe. These work really good. There's a few tricks to using them. One of them is, I'll show you. You don't want to hit at a straight angle like this because nothing happens. You want to cut with about a 45 degree angle and it slices right through them. If you try to hit it straight on, it won't cut the strands and, and then it'll flip over and come back and hit you in the face. So if you cut it at a 45 or a 30 degree angle, it just slices right through it. So I put on my vintage safety glasses here and show you how it works faster than using a chainsaw and when we come back we'll cut these off later on right at the ground when we're working on cleaning the floor here trying to restore it back to a good condition here It never ceases to amaze me how simple a tool and axe is, but how efficient they are, how it changed the world for the better. We'll see you on the next video.